Okay guys, welcome back. So today they want you to paint the shutters on both faces without glue. Adjust the spacing of the shutters and the panels on the shutter cores. Okay, the illustration is number 25, which is here. It's showing you that make them evenly spaced. So that's what you need to do now at this moment. And then after that, um, we'll work on the next step. The shutters are going to be these little thin pieces of wood that you have here and then the long pieces here. All right, so what I've done is I went ahead, kind of like I did the windows, I put some tape out and um, I'll zoom in a little bit there so you can see it. And what I'm gonna do, just to make it easier, is I'm gonna lay them out so that they don't move when I'm painting them. It just kind of keeps them from wiggling around there. I just put them all together. Because you have to paint the sides. Huh? You have to paint the sides. You gotta glue the other pieces on there, right? No, it says not to do that stuff yet. No. For some reason, they want you to paint it first, which makes no sense to me, but that's what they want, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, so now they're a little bit more stationary than if they were moving around on the paper. All right, let's see. Okay, guys, so when you're doing these little tiny bits of the shutters, you need to make sure you're almost dry brushing them because if you don't, then what's gonna happen is they're gonna warp. So I'm gonna show you with this one. It's like barely any paint on my brush. Just kind of go around it very lightly and pretty much just barely dabbing it in there because they will definitely warp up on you if they get too wet because they're super, super thin. All right, so be careful when you do that. Do it in several coats and just be cautious when you're doing it. Okay, so I have all of my shutters painted. They turned out pretty nice. They didn't warp or anything. However, the edges, because I wasn't using a lot, did not get done quite as nicely as they should have been. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just dip a sponge brush, very lightly blot some off, and I'm holding them all together. Make sure they're completely dry when you do it all right and then I'm just gonna go and blot it on there just like that Remember, you don't want it too wet because what'll happen is it'll bleed through and then you'll have a messed up face plate. All right, after you have that done, then you wanna find a clean area, which at this point may be very hard to do. And you want to lay them out again, flat, give them a few minutes to dry. Make sure nothing came off onto the front and then you'll be ready once they're dry to do the next step. All right, so if your shutters did the same thing, you can do the same exact process with that to get rid of any of that without having to go through the whole thing again. Just hold them very tightly and don't use a lot of paint. When you're done doing this, separate it and let it sit to dry. Shouldn't take long because you're putting it on pretty much dry. It's not that wet. So maybe like 15 minutes or so, if that. Okay, so now I've taken the tape and I have it sticky again. I've laid them on top of there and then I've got two scrap pieces of wood, all right? And I'm gonna put this here, line it up with the top 
if it's easier for you so that you can make sure that it doesn't move, you can take it, make sure it's even there. and then tape it in place. Just like that, all right? Now, what you wanna do is get yourself a stick or a toothpick or something that you can use for the glue and you wanna dab your glue in there and then you wanna spread it across the back. Do not use a lot because what'll happen is it will buckle up. So get it on there and then smear it around. After that, then you wanna take your finger and wipe off as much as you can because again, you don't want it to buckle and it will buckle because you're super thin. All right, now you wanna go right even in the middle, leaving a space on each side And these are about a quarter of an inch. They're not exact, but they are about a quarter of an inch. I'm gonna tape this one down. Now that I have my first one set, and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other one. And you don't want to put so much either to where it squeezes out on the other side. All right. Make sure that's still even. Put that down in the middle. And then butt this piece of board up against, or wood, not board, up against it. Just like that. And that's going to give you your template that you're going to use to frame out each one. After that, you get all your little pieces together. Put the glue right down there. Put it in the middle and then there. Same way. With the back side on the bottom. Make it even and then put it there. Do that all the way throughout the rest of it. Okay, so after you have it done, then you can just remove the tape and the wood. Now, I will tell you, I did notice that the one board was a little wider than the other. I thought, well, they're about the same, but I guess it was milled wrong. So I have a little bit more, um, or a little bit less space here than I do here. And I forgot to put one there, so I'm gonna have to do that real quick. All right, so that's all you need to do to do the shutters. It's that easy. Um, hopefully this tutorial um, has helped you and if you want to continue to watch this build, there's still a whole lot more left to do in this build. Um, we still have um, the roof. And then we also have the walls inside, the wallpaper or whatever we're gonna do with the interior. I have not decided. Um, leave a comment below if you think um, I should do something you know, particular inside of this dollhouse because I have no idea what I'm going to do with it yet. And I'm open to all kinds of suggestions. Again, this is the shutters. Um, the, there's a little bit more space down here, which does bother me a little bit, but that's okay. I'll just put that at the bottom or top one or the other and it'd be fine. But like, subscribe, question, suggestion. We will be finishing this part of the roof, the, um, gingerbread trim and the floor base. We'll be installing the windows, the door, the porch, the porch railing, all of the flower beds or flower pots. 
and so on. So it's a lot more to go. Um, like, subscribe, questions, suggestions, comment below, and click that bell if you want to see more because it'll notify you when I post the next video. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.